Hello, sports fans. Today, I continue the Stratomatic 2020 White Sox season, and we will be playing two games today against the Milwaukee Brewers. So, um, if you have been watching, you know that we split with Minnesota two game or two two and two in four games, and then we swept Detroit four games straight. So right now we are six and two, I believe. So let's go to the league league stats. We are six and two, and Minnesota is still leading the division because they played an extra game there at seven and two. So uh, that puts us a half game back, and uh, so we're ready to go. Let's go to the game. Because you see all these have been played, so we'll play day. And there you go, Milwaukee at Chicago. We're on some serious kind of homestand, too, which is, I mean, it's great, but then that means we're going on the road for a long time later. So we got Lopez going up. Um, and we're at home, so they're going to have the DH, and their DH will be uh, Ryan Braun, not surprisingly. So we will, first of all, I'm going to turn the sound down because we know we're going to have to do that. And then, uh, we're going to... So Lorenzo Kane leading off against Ronaldo Lopez, and he leads it off with a single. So we're definitely going to have to make sure we're watching him. Oh, I guess I guess it was built in that we're watching him. So ninety percent, that's pretty good. And he even drops to sixty percent when he doesn't get a good lead. So RC is up and he lines out though, and smoke is up and smoke walks. And that brings up Hura. And he's gonna strike out. So Lopez has two outs with two runners at first and second in the top of the first, and that's a ground ball to the pitcher. Hopefully he can make the play, and he did. So we get out of the first, um, escaped a little damage there, um, potential damage by the Brewers. And Tim Anderson's up, and he's going to ground out. And that brings up Lurie Garcia. And he strikes out. And that brings up Moncada. We're going to swing away with Moncada. Home run, 1 to 11, but no. It's going to be a fly out. So Narvaez, our former catcher, is up and he's going to strike out. <clears throat> And that brings up Sogard, who's striking out. Eric Sogard, four eyes. And then uh, Brock Holt is going to single. Brock Holt was a good pickup from Milwaukee this year, I think. And then that's going to be a line out by Brock. So Lopez gets us through two innings. He's doing really well here. Well, not really well. First inning could have been bad. Edwin Canarsion, we're going to swing away with him, and he's hit by pitch and injured. And uh, he seems okay, and he'll stay in the game. And if you remember, um, we don't have uh, Lewis Robert playing because he was injured for 15 days, and that's a home run one to eight, but it's going to be a fly ball. So, yeah, he was put on the uh, injured, the injured list for 15 days, so... That's why we have kind of a strange lineup here. And the ball gets past the catcher and moves Encarnacion down to second. And then Grandall walks. So now we've got our own little threat going here. Two runners on, only one out, and Jimenez up. And he's going to hit the ball to Hira, who hopefully will throw it away or something. And, uh, no, that was an out. I guess he threw to second, and they tried to get the double play, and they couldn't. So, 
Mazzara is up with two outs and two on, and he singles a run home. And I'm going to say no, hold the runners. And Mendick is up, and Mendick is going to hit the ball to center, and that's Lorenzo Kane, so that isn't so great, although it is going all the way back to the wall, so let's see. But no, it's a fly out. And speaking of Kane, he's going to be up, and he is going to ground out to short. So that brings up Arcia. And Arcia is going to rip a single, rip it, rip a single. But Lopez, I'm kind of impressed with how Lopez is pitching here. Smoke is up, and uh oh. Let's throw for him anyway, and we don't get him. So now the smoke is up, and there's a stolen base, but that's a ground ball C. So that's going to be two outs, but that'll move Arcia to third. Now Arcia is 90 feet away with Hira up, and he strikes out. So that brings up Timmy Anderson. We we still maintain the whoa. Well, I was going to say we maintain the one run lead, but now it's a two run lead as Timmy Anderson goes deep off of uh, Corbin Burns. And that brings up Lurie, Lurie Garcia, and he's going to single. Rips it through the hole. Moncada's up. With no out and Garcia at first, and that's going to be a ground ball to short, which is bad because that's Garcia. Oh, but it's not in time. They couldn't complete the double play. Unbelievable. Well, now I'm going to try to steal. I'm not going to attempt it at 35%. So, Encarnacion is going to be up, and he rips a single. One out, two on. And I am going to hold the runners. And that brings up Abreu. And he singles. And Mancata should be able to score on that. I am going to send the lead runner at 85%. And we do score. So that's the second run this inning. And we now have a 3 to nothing lead. And Grandall is going to walk and load the bases. you got to figure Burns is just about done here. Jimenez is up. No, they let Jimenez bat or um, bat against Burns, and he hits a fly ball. Left field B with a question mark, and that's 50% I'm going to hold. That brings up Mazzaro, who was big last time with a hit, and he hits the ball down to third. That's Sogar. Let's see if he can know. But, hey, we got a 3 nothing lead. Um, and, and, uh, Lopez pitching grades. And even, uh, making a play is brave there. So, Narvaez, our former player, <clears throat> he strikes out. He was a good one. I don't know why we let him go, but. So, guard up. And Sogard is out. So now we're coming up in the bottom of the fourth with a 3 nothing lead and Mendick up. And he's going to single. Timmy Anderson up. Come on, Tim. Yes! Home run. That's the second home run of the game for Tim Anderson. So there you go. We got a uh, got ourselves a five nothing lead here. Lurie Garcia up, he strikes out, and this is where Lurie Garcia comes in handy because I think he's probably playing in um, center field for um, the injured um, Robert Lewis Robert, and Encarnacion is up and he's going to swing away. And that's a line out. And he is. Garcia is in center. And what I am going to do is I'm going to go and get Angle and put Angle in center field for Garcia. And not that, and really, Garcia is not that much better of a hitter than um, Adam Angle anyway. So. Ryan Braun up with one out, and it's going to be two. 
And Kane, top of the fifth here. And Kane is going to fly out. And so that's going to be it for you Brewers in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth, leading five to nothing. And Debreu's up. He's going to swing away. He strikes out. I'd like to pile a few more runs on there. What about you guys, you think? That's a single one to six, but that's going to be an out. And that brings up Jimenez, and he's going to swing away, and he's going to walk. So we got Jimenez at first, here in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. And Mazzara up, who is one for two on the day, but he's going to fly out. <sighs> five nothing, five nothing, but, you know, Lopez is pitching like a champ. That's going to be a line out for Garcia. Smoke is up. That's going to be a fly ball. He doesn't quite get it. Doesn't quite get all of it. Mazzara chasing it back to the wall and grabbing it. And that brings up Hura. And Hura is going to hit a home run. So Hura gets the Milwaukee Brewers on the board with a jack. And it's 5-1. to one. And... Uh, their main man, Abisail Garcia, who is another player who we used to have. So Milwaukee is basically Chicago White Sox West. So Danny Mendick is coming up. He's going to hit the ball down to Sogard. Hopefully Sogard throws it away. Wow. Ah, no, he doesn't. Tim Anderson, two for three in this game with two jacks, and he's grounding out. And that brings up Ben Cole, who came on for Lurie Garcia and is now playing center field, and he strikes out. But we go to the top of the seven, still leading 5-1, and Lopez pitching great, but not that great, as Narvaez now um, cuts the lead from four, to three and the score is now five to two and Sogard is up and he's going to hit a fly ball so there's the first out in the seventh inning Brock Holt up and that's going to be a double so now Lopez is starting to get dragged around the field a little bit Ryan Braun up and that's a strikeout, but you know me, I'm, uh, you know, pitch the starter as long as you possibly can type of guy, and that's not, not going to change. So, fly ball, and we maintain a 5-3, or 5-2 lead. I'm, yes, so next inning, I'm definitely going to take him out, because he pitched seven innings. I mean, you know, I, you, I'm not saying I want everybody to do a complete game, but I do expect seven innings and would like to get seven innings from everybody. There's one out. Encarnacion up. And he doubles. So maybe I'm going to look for a pinch runner here with one out. Uh, Gorky's Hernandez is a running one to 14. So let's do that. Let's put in Gorky's Hernandez to run. And that brings up Abreu. And he's going to hit a shortstop, A. And then that brings up Grandall. And Grandall strikes out. So, um, yeah, we're going to the pen. We are. And I am going to go get Osage. And he'll pitch to Arcia and strike him out. And now we're pitching to Smoke. And Smoke is going to hit it to second, which is Mendick. Hopefully he makes the play. No, he didn't. So Smoke is on at first, and here is up. And But here a line, he hits a fly ball. We were lucky there because it was a one to eight. That could have been a single chance and we might have been in trouble. 
And that's a home run one to eight, but it's going to be a fly ball. So Osich ex escapes poten real potential damage here. And that brings up Jimenez. And he'll swing away. And he walks. Mazzara's up. Mazzara hits the ball to short, but that's going to be a double play because it's... Oh, no. He made an error. Nice. Unbelievable error by Arcia at shortstop. And that brings a ground ball to second. And he's a four. And that rolls up his arm. So now we've got the bases loaded. Two errors in this inning. And a great hitter at the plate. And he strikes out. So that brings up Adam Mengel, who is not a great hitter, and strikes out. So we could have, man, we could have really opened this up. But, oh, we're still up. Okay, I didn't know that that was the, only the second out. So Moncada could open it up and, well, at the ground ball to a third base four. I'll take it. But he made the play. So, yeah. All right, top of the ninth. Uh, I really should go get a reliever. We're going to go get column A and bring in column A. And that's a strikeout. Strikes Narvaez out. So guard is up and he's going to single. And that brings up Holt, and Holt strikes out. So we got two down here, very close to being seven and two. But no, there's a home run by Ryan Braun. So that pulls them within one run. It is now 5-4. And Lorenzo Kane up, and he strikes out, so we get out of it, thankfully. So that game was a lot closer than I uh, really would have liked for it to be. See, Lopez got the win. He went seven, allowed two earned runs, only allowed seven base runners, and Osich got his first hold. <clears throat> and then Colome got a save by allowing two runs. Nice. Um, but we are seven and two. So, and we beat a pretty good Brewers team. So we're going to go on to the next game, and we're going to play day. And uh, so we're up to cease pitching for us. And uh, yeah, I like this alignment, so we're going to play ball. Pitching to Yelich, I don't know. He might have been on the DL or something. But anyway, he leads off with a home run. Because I don't recall seeing him in game one. But he gives him a one nothing lead, and Braun is up. And Braun strikes out. And that brings up Smoke. And he is going to hit the ball to Angle in center, who is starting in this game, and I, which I'm fine with. So the Brewers took a one nothing lead there. Oh, wait. No, they're still up. And uh, they're still going. They're still going. They're not giving up yet. And that brings up Avasail Garcia, our former player. And he singles. So wait a minute. Hold the buses. Hold the buses. There might be some, some, uh, some more runs here. Narvaez up, but he strikes out. So Cease does manage to get out of that inning. Uh, with just the one run allowed, the leadoff home run to Yelich. And that is a ground ball for Anderson. Lurie Garcia up. He's going to strike out. And Moncada is up, and he's going to swing away. And that's a home run, 1-16, to 16, and he ties the game. Moncada ties the game. It's one all. One all in the bottom of the first. And that brings up Ben Canarcion. And he strikes out. 
So that brings up Sogard to lead off the second inning. He's going to ground ball to Garcia, who will probably throw it into the stands. Well, he didn't throw it into the stands, but he did beat the runner did beat it out. So Sogard is bored with hold up. And that's going to be a line to Garcia. Brings up Jed Jerko, who walks. So now they got two on, and Yelich up, and Yelich is going deep, and that's going to give the Brewers a serious lead at four to one. And Braun is up, and he's going to ground ball to short. Anderson boots it. So this is just not our game here, folks. Smoke is up, and Smoke is hitting a fly ball, thankfully, although really it's already 4-1, and uh, I'm not so sure that that's going to be something we can come back from. We're going to throw for the runner, and we don't get him, and he moves to third. So here up with two outs, and that's going to be a single one to five, but a line out. So it's it's four to one. It's still early. We'll see what happens, but we really have to get some serious offense going off of uh, Woodruff, and I don't know that we're going to do that. Grandall up with an out. Hits it to Hira. And he's out. And that brings up Jimenez. And he strikes out. So there's your matchup right there. Um, Avisail Garcia against Cease. And there's an out. And Narvaez up. And you remember, I think if you remember, whoa, that's going to be another home run. Maybe we can rob it. We'll see. But unless it's Engel. He did. He did rob it. So nice. Must have been Angle. But if you remember Cease's last start, he actually pitched great. So it's kind of uh, discouraging to see this kind of a start. But, you know, maybe we recover. We'll see. Home run 1 to 16. Mazzara gone. So it's 4 to 2. 4 to 2. And now we're, we're kind of close. With angle up and angle with a single. Let's see if angle can steal. He can, potentially. Let's try it. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Okay. I was sort of having. All right. So we're here's steal. Uh, attempt to steal. No, don't attempt. So Anderson's up, no outs, Engel at first. And that's a single. Let's see if Engel goes to third. He does. So we got runners at the corners, no outs, Garcia up. And he strikes out. That brings up Mancata. And he hits a double. Nice. They got Avasail Garcia in center. Um, I'm going to hold the runners. And there's still only one out with Encarnacion stepping in, and he hits a fly ball B, which probably will score Anderson and tie the game. And it does, and so it's 4-4 and a brave up. And that's going to rip a single, and let's see if Moncada scores on that. He probably should, and I am going to send him. And he does. So now we have the lead. And that's a walk by Grandall. We're still going. So now there's some real motivation for Cease to buckle down. And that's going to be a single one to 14, and that's going to be a base hit. That'll load the bases. With Mazzara up. And he's finally the ending ends as he goes. 
So Holt is up against Cease to lead off the fourth. And that's a ground ball to third. And he's out. And that brings up Jerko. Jerko hits it to short. And that's Anderson. And that's going to be an error. Um, okay. So Yelich is up. Let's try to control Yelich. He hits him. Two runners on. One out. Braun out. That's going to be a ground ball to short. We really need Anderson to play this one. And he he does. And there's two outs. Runners at second and third and smoke up at the plate. And he's going to ground out. So that brings up Engel in the bottom of the fourth. And with us leading 5-4, which was the final score of the last game. And Engel is going deep. And now we have a two-run lead on a home run by Adam Engel. My main man, Adam Engel. Love that guy. So Tim Anderson's up, and he's going to ground out to short. And that's an out, and Garcia is up with one out, and he strikes out. So there's two down. And Moncada will swing away, and he strikes out. But uh, we have a 6-4 to four lead, top of the fifth, Akira up. And he strikes out. Cease. Cease is reaching back, trying to give us that old country effort there. Strikes out the next guy, Avisail Garcia. Yeah, you didn't want to stay with the White Sox. Narvaez is up, and he's going to pop out, and Cease is pitching like a champ now. All of a sudden, again, like he did in his last start, I believe. And now we go to the bottom of the fifth. And Canarcion up. He's going to swing away, and he's going to fly out. Abreu is up, and he's going to swing away. And that brings up Grandall, and he's going to swing away. And that's going to be an out. So now I have a decision, um, because Cease has gone five. And I usually like to see guys go seven, but I'm still going to go to the bullpen. And I'm going to bring in Evan Marshall. There you go. There's your matchup, Evan Marshall Sogard, and he walks. And I'll bet you that would have been an out probably on Cease's card. Uh, okay, we're going to pitch the hole. And that's a fly ball right field, so there's one down. Brings up Jerko, and Jerko is going to ground into a double play. Nice. So Marshall gets us out of that. We're in the bottom of the sixth. Still got the good two to one lead, two run lead, and Jimenez is up. It's six to four. Us, six to four. Good guys swinging away with Mazzara. Hits the ball down to third, and that's Sogard. Not a very good fielder, but he is out. And there's two down, and Engel up, who homered, but now he fly balls. He was two, he's two for two in the game, too. So we're going to the top of the seventh. I'm going to keep Marshall out there. Hopefully Grandall plays this. And he does. Braun is up. And Braun's going to triple one or double, and that's really going to be a double. So Braun on second is what's going to happen with one out. And smoke up. And that's going to be a strikeout. Marshall strikes him out. And that brings up Hira. And Hira strikes out. So that's probably going to be it for Marshall when we come back. But we'll see. Tim Anderson up. And he's going to be out. Lurie Garcia's up. 
and they bring in Javi Guerra to pitch, and he strikes Garcia, Luri Garcia out. And that brings up Moncada. We're going to swing away with the Moncada man, and he is not going to fly. He, well, maybe. Maybe we have a chance to see if they can rob it. And if they can't, it might be gone. Can't get it? Home run. So we take a, we that was a sweet home run. We really needed that. And Encarnacion is up, and they'll bring in Matt Elbers to pitch to him. And he swings away, and he strikes out. But now we're leading seven to four. Um, I'm inclined to say keep Marshall out there now, and that's going to be a line out. And that brings up Narvaez. It's a good thing there's no such thing as trying to rob a single or rob a, home, a double because some of those might have been hits. And that brings up Sogard with two down and he singles with two outs. And that brings up Holt. And Holt is going to be out. And that ends the threat, in the, uh, the potential threat in the eight. And Marshall is tired, so he will be replaced by me when we get back out in the field. But right now, there's a walk to Abreu. Grandal is up, and that's going to be a strikeout. And that brings up Jimenez, and he lines out. So we're going to replace Marshall. Um, we're winning, four, yeah, seven to four. I'm going to bring in Ruiz. Because I think we've got enough of a lead that we can do that. Single one to five, but they do get it. Man. Jerko at first, Yelich up, and he strikes out. So Ruiz strikes him out. Ryan Braun, that's going to be a pass ball or something, and moves Jericho to second with Ryan Braun up, and he singles and probably singles him home. Oh, no, he doesn't. Runners are at the corners with Smoke, and Smoke hits a three-run home run and ties the game. Unreal. Yeah, I'll bet he's tired. All right, well, let's keep him out there and see if he can get out of this, though. And he hit, he gets the fly ball, he induces a fly ball for the second out. And that brings up Garcia, and he walks. And that brings up Narvaez, and that's going to be a pass ball. And that's a double. Are you kidding me, man? All right. All right, maybe I lost this game for us, but we'll see. That's a fly ball, though. So he gets out of the inning, but we're losing. They just scored four runs in the ninth. So we're losing 8-7. Going into the ninth with Mazzara up. And they bring in, of course, Hayter. So this is going to be tough. Angle is up. And he strikes out. And that brings up Tim Anderson. Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! And he strikes out, and we lose the game, and you can blame it on me. I brought in our worst pitcher. I thought maybe he could get through it, but he didn't. So we're we're seven and three. And the Brewers are six and four. Ruiz gets the loss, of course, going one inning and giving up four earned runs. And we'll just make a little note in the margin. Managerial loss. Sportsman Z had a brain fart. No, he didn't have a brain fart. He knew what he was doing. It just didn't work. So that's going to be that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.